you know, there's a couple of things here I want to explain. I don't know why that thing, this thing does this. Like, um, I do understand why it would do it if I exit out the program, but, like, it'll all of a sudden disappear, this recording device. Strange that way. And I don't mean, like, it disappears out the phone, but, like, you know... See where there's a bubble where you can see there's time going up for like 20 seconds, yeah. Well, anyway, hey guys, my name is Brian Barnett Gatti. Here, welcome back, folks. I'm going all to Command and Conquer Riddler Retaliation. And in the last episode, we started this map. Wow, big deal, right? I am just about prepared to do the campaign mode. I'm just not ready to do something. Not ready to do it right at this moment, but I'm getting there. It's going to take time. And because right now, today, is something I need to explain about something as well. Uh, bill day. Uh, I don't try to typically try to record, but I do if I feel like it, if you know what I mean. That makes any sense. Because, I mean, even though I don't know when I'm going to actually be posting these videos, and I must apologize about community conquer riddle retaliation videos that were actually posted. But the reason why I put so much up there, I forgot to mention this, um, I have been meaning to say something, but I keep forgetting and slipping slip my mind, uh, is that one video got accidentally released. It was out of order, so I just deleted, did it all that. But again, if you want to know the, if it ever gets messed up in the upload list, don't worry about that. More pay attention to the playlist of any game I've got going on. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's this or whatever. Uh, but anyway... Because it's a day of rest, relaxation, and for me, for uh, you know, I mean, you know, back to building. Sorry, let me let me I start the over again. But back to building. I got sidetracked there because I was meaning to say something about that. I just it just hit me to say that, that I didn't want to say it before I forgot again. Anyway, so this here is something also I have not talked about, uh, but uh, it's a day of relaxation for me, mainly. Uh, but it's also a time for me to go out and do bills and. Um, get away from somewhere typically generally i don't record anyway until like when i get home but since i've been doing other things to make it so that i have to actually go out just one day off from doing anything at all and i mean anything yeah i i would prefer build it it's it's just an excuse for me to go and i can take as much time as i want to I consider this my day off, and I'm not officially back on duty until tomorrow, or at least, or, well, I am kind of starting back on duty, but not fully uh, when I get back, but, you know, it's just, I want a day off. I don't have to have, like, uh, both the day and the night, but at least the daytime, you know? So that's what a time I can actually go out and enjoy myself a little bit. I'm not looking to go out there and get drunk, but even if I did, which I don't, you know, so what? Mm -hmm. You know, the whole point of it is just to go out and be able to, to relax and enjoy myself, you know, away from all the stuff, the drama, the whole working, even the, and I mean, my God, I just need a day off to just kind of decompose and get away from it for a little bit. I mean, you know, that's all I ask. That's it. Because I'm going to tell you something. What I do, what you don't know is that it's very rare for me to take off days for, like, when I'm sick or in pain that I'm supposed to be immobilized, like, with my mouth. Um, mm -hmm. It's never been with my legs. My legs very rarely do that, but that doesn't last very long enough to me to do it. So, okay, I got to take off the day. If I did that, I'd have to be in the hospital. <laughs> There's no way in hell I can handle it, handle it in that way. But I, I'm not sure. Actually, no, no, I take that back. Because believe me, when you've got when your legs are like in a panic mode where you cannot get up until they release you, yeah, it's not a good idea for them to have you back in the, in the hospital unless they knock you out first, and then. Or at least, or, or at least, numb your legs to the point that they don't, you know, bug you. So that's the thing. And I just got me a new. Uh, I hope this is a heater thing because if it's not, 
I wasted my money on this because it's uh, a new heating blanket. Because the one I got, I don't really care for the color, but again, it doesn't really bother me. Why am I saying it again? I, see, there I go again, again. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, it's because I've already said it to somebody else. But uh, so anyway, um, yeah, color doesn't really bother me as much. It's just. You know, I don't really care for it, like, an overall preference-wise. Um, but, I, you know, it's just, it's not like it's going to make it any worse. I mean, I've never, I've never really thought about that that way. Mm -hmm. This is not a heating blanket. They said it was a heating blanket. Oh, I didn't. I wasted my money for a blanket that's not a heating blanket. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know, another thing is, this was actually recorded on the same day. Or was it early this morning? I can't remember. All I know is I couldn't sleep. And now I don't feel good. And you know why? Because I've been working, and I have eaten. And no, I'm not a diabetic. If I am, I'm a very rare one, but anyway... The sugar's not high or anything like that, or too low. I mean, come on, man. So, anyway, uh, yeah. I'm gonna let him continue on, but I'm gonna split this up. So. Yeah. Uh, well, I should have paid a little bit more money. Oh well. Yeah, I didn't have the money. As always, next month. I already spent it. You know, I went to the store today. I already said that, and I know I didn't, but I just remember. And they were out of the products that I could have got on hand instead of spending out so much money. Like, one by themselves of body wash that I needed. I was almost out. I can't make that stuff stretch beyond maybe one more month at the most. But I'd rather have it on hand. And I just took the chance to just got the double pack and it's odd that if you get like two of them single handedly instead of in the package it still costs you a little bit more if not maybe over I don't know sometimes it just does it's, it's weird about prices and uh well anyway mm -hmm. And I just thought that they had taken out the blues. No, apparently they're still around. chance of it being oh okay so that's good mm -hmm. in a sense but you know it's still bad that they're down um but yeah they both turned out to be the uh, uh the same people that we are 
the thing is, it should have been, but it never is always that way. I mean, you, you can get a chance of it happening. I have seen it. Where you got two AIs that are like the opposite of what you are, and you've got one AI that's what the same thing as you are. And then you've got all three of them being, and if you've already seen that, because I think you already have, and the fact that, well, really, I mean, you know. All being the same, it's, it's, or, it, like, two of them, you know, it's crazy. You don't get, like, um, you really don't get like more than three AIs, which really suck. The kitty cat. Said the, the thing about these one off shot oh, steals are just going to be update videos anyway, regardless of whether this is going to be campaign oh, mode or otherwise, because um, to be honest, it's all I can do for it. Because I'm not going to be providing very much uh, commentary as it is, so I might as well make it a, like an update video. Oh, hello. Oh. You know, that makes any sense because. I mean, I can talk a little bit about the game, but when I'm heavily focused on it, you know, kind of like Minecraft, but the difference is I can talk more on Minecraft, but a lot of, you might see me focus on it, but it's, it's like mm -hmm. in between. It's okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm happy with this blanket. It's okay. Yeah. And as always, yeah. next month, hopefully I will get a bed. I need mm -hmm. a bed, and I don't mean a mattress. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for a mattress. I hate those things. Get on with it, dude. I mean, they're good and comfortable, but eventually the springs come out of them. But, you know. So, in essence, I'm going to go ahead and try to, uh... Oh, I don't know. I may not build an iron curtain this time. I'll go ahead and do the air fill, but they gotta build up their air fill first. I don't want to be the first one to build up an air an air deal until they do something. Which by that I mean these guys right here. I think they got enough stuff to do it with, and I'll be right back. You know, and um, you know how like there's invincibility and stuff like that. Well, I'm going to try out this thing called Infinite Funds. I've not hardly used it that I can remember or ever done it. So, in essence, yeah, this is going to be interesting. And, um, because I honestly don't want to, um, well, they... Well, they have their war factory. And you see, the thing is, I could send over some some stuff and just like, um, but I have to take it down their defenses. And anyway, I even if I could take over this, you know, like I said before, there's no point in taking over it until after they build that one deal. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be the helicopter pad. They don't they don't build air force stuff, but they can drop troop. Oops. They can do that. 
it's Drops, trips. random when it does happen, though. You know, like, you know, you'd think they'd have to have an airfield like we do, but that's neither here nor there. Yep. So, and we've had, like, tanks like them. So, I mean, or at least the U.S. has, anyway, I don't know. We've already said that before. But, it's always good to go ahead and build up the tanks you got that they're going to be the most powerful, anyway. And I want to tell you something else. This may be a little bit of a spoiler about what you're about to see. Um... Yeah, it kind of is, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I like how they stop. Oh, brother. So, here's the thing. I'm just going to talk over this. Um, what I'm about to say, if I haven't already said it, is the wrong advice. You don't take over the uh the construction yard in order to get certain things known no, and no, no. I think I've already said it in another video. And I've already said it in another video as well and I forget about these things because just you know, I have to admit I have watched these. This is not in this video by the way, but actually I should mention it. A lot of things that I'm gonna be saying, um and most of it will be, but it just depends on what it is. I'll just I'll just give you a hit or a signal. Anyway, um, did, um, what was it, something about taking over and the construction yard and being able to, um, you know, basically get the tanks from that side. No, you don't. You take over the war factories and the, it's like the barracks. And then I later correct myself because, you know what, to be honestly fair, it's been so long since I've been able to actually t capture a base. And to me, it's pointless to capture a base of the same caliber as yours. I mean, you could do it, and I, I don't remember if I've ever done it, but I don't bother. There's not much point. If they have the same capabilities as me, because I'm Russia... Or, you know, or well, not because of the name, but like the technology of what they have, like with the Tesla stuff and all that, then yeah, uh, not much point. Anyway, so what you gotta do is, like with the helicopter pad, you gotta take over the helicopter pad in order to, uh, um, you know, get the helicopter that they have on the other side. Um, as is with most buildings, you can actually build the pad in the war factory to, or whatever looks like theirs. Um, there's only one building you cannot take over from either side. You can only build it in order to do it, and that's the sub pin or the other thing. Uh, which I can't think. I think it's called the shipyard or whatever. And, uh, it's fine. So, it makes no difference, but it's kind of silly to have only one you don't have to take over, but, you know. But you can actually win the game by taking over buildings. However, you actually have to take down enough of their defenses before you do that. Because otherwise, if you don't, not only will they sell out their stuff, you have to make sure that you get there or to do something to, uh, you know... Basically, make sure that you're able to to yeah, be able to not without two two anyway, to uh, be able um 
you know, a substance of defense just to protect it and then do that. So, actually, I think I'll just let this continue on, but I'm going to talk over it because uh, what I said there was stupid advice. And one of the things I don't like about trucks and tanks and stuff as well is I don't like it when they absolutely have to sit there and just sit there uh, and then be attacking or, you know, going, you know, attacking other enemies when I, when I didn't tell them to do that. There's nothing I could do about my defense just because they're just there. You know, all defenses like that just happen to automatically attack, like tanks do when they see other enemy forces coming by. I mean, you know, ore trucks, I wish they would ignore because ore trucks are not really a threat. They really aren't. The fact that they're considering a threat is stupid because they're just ore trucks. They're not going to harm you. Unless you destroy their truck and, and let the the uh, enemy soldier that's in it out, and there that soldier in it uh, can fire, but it's pretty weak and useless. I'm not kidding. It doesn't always come out. It pretty much dies uh, a lot of times, or even has a chance to uh, come out and be freelance, or whether it's fully healed or just random. By the way. Uh, or has some a bit of health. Either way, you might get one, but uh, mostly uh, you'll have nothing but destroyed tank or uh, ore trucks. I mean, you know, and, and ore trucks, you know, would suck. You know, they they have to uh, go into the enemy territory. That's one thing you don't want done, unless of course you've taken over the base or. Whatever. Okay, so maybe like where they don't have any defense out there lying out there wait, waiting for you to uh, attack. Even though you're not really attacking, quote unquote, with an ore truck. But still. I like both sides. Uh, I like the technology. I like everything about it. Um... And I don't remember all of what I said in this video, but I think a lot of times I was just, you know, not saying anything again. That's the way it is for me when coming in and conquer Red Alert Retaliation. It's kind of weird that I can actually talk and play with this game, but when I'm actually recording, I'm just quiet. Maybe I just, just don't really care to try to do that. And I don't know. I can't tell you, but I don't know. But the reason I'm able to comm communicate commentary right now is because I'm not actually playing the game right now. I'm actually, that's past me, but was recorded as of yesterday, Friday the 4th, Bill Day. Bill Day does not, um, it's not normally on the 4th. It was just that way because it was set up that way. I really didn't want to have to go out then. I'd rather have gone out. Before then, which is the day I do it and everything. I set up with up things, or I try to anyway, between the 10th and the 15th. So that I can get everything paid up. Because uh, the due date is better that way in case, uh, you know, I can't get out. Because a lot of times I've had to do that, like, you know, especially when you get stuck for a little while. The bad majority of it is that when people have to suffer, this is another one that's not in this video, but, um, you know, like for a whole entire month, or uh, some of them do without money because they didn't get paid, or they have it, but they can't get out because they're stuck. Whether they have their interpretation or not, um, like whether they're driving it or someone else would be, but they're stuck. They can't go anywhere. The roads are frozen uh, solid. I have been in those. I mean, nowadays you don't really get that like that, but you can still get it pretty bad out there. Yeah, it can be uh, where it can slip and slide. But, like, where no one can get out of the driveway, no one can drive, that kind of thing, because it would be a bad idea. And I'll say this much, though. 
that, uh, yeah. I thought about splitting this up, but I'm not going to do that. Um, but pretty much, in the next episode, I'm just going to go ahead and take over the base and, sh and show you what it's like. What I'm not going to typically do is take over a base that looks exactly like mine. I don't mean like the color, because it's not going to look the same. as They don't, as if you've ever noticed, the patterns of the colors, they don't have the same color. Not that it has an advantage or a disadvantage. I'm not sure what the hell the difference is between that. But anyway, basically, I do know that uh, basically it doesn't make it any worse if you had a different color or the same color. That doesn't really change nothing. I said that before, but I'm adding on to it now. I've forgotten that I said that, but I did not remember. It also depends on how tired I am and... Uh, you know, viewing the, uh, video. Um, so yeah, the next episode we are going to definitely take over. I'm not going to take over the other base because it's a waste of time for me. It really is. And because they, see, they take out the blues here. The green, the, uh, other, the other enemy that's like me. And that kind of sucks for the yellows. The yellows do, however, come over there and and uh, start going after them for some reason or another. Even though they're not, I don't, I don't know if they're really coming this way or not. I didn't actually have the mouse over. That was just kind of focusing on here. I was going to send my troops over um, and try and stop them from, you know, wiping out the yellows because I wanted them to. Uh, you know, including the, uh, the ore trucks. The ore trucks in this episode are going to be gone for the yellows, which means, you know, pretty much, if you remember a video a while back where I said once they take out the ore trucks, or even the, the, uh, the main one, um, they pretty much stop. They will stop in general when it's, ore is not being spread. Uh, regardless of whether you have it on regrow or not, because it does take a while for it to regrow. And it would be taking you several decades before they do anything, if at all, to try to do anything. When they stop, they stop. It's just like your ore trucks. Another thing I'm not mentioning in this video or any other. But pretty much ore trucks, they will stop at the ore factory. And then uh, you have to send them back out. I don't... I don't um, I think I've seen trucks go back out at some point, but maybe I've dreamt that, but that would not have been, then again, it was so many years ago, but since I've been recently playing, like, um, I wouldn't say just like yesterday, like, or anything like that, but, uh, anyway, with that, they, uh, they don't, so they just, like I said, once they stop, they stop, that's it, there's, there's no more, you know, there's, they don't do anything unless you send them back out to do anything. And you can have as many ore trucks as you want or need, possibly need, to satisfy you. But I wouldn't recommend letting them go all the way into to enemy territory unless you're able to get a cheap kill to make them invincible. I don't, I don't think I've ever had like that, but. Uh, because, you know, even though that you have an ability to make your trucks and whatnot invincible, you can only do one in, I've, I've been, which is, doesn't seem to work all the time, but you can use, um, do more than one, but you can't do them all. So basically, if you could do them all, if you find a chico like that, you'd be good, or at least, you know, doing your or trucks that way. I, I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're just trying to do it regularly, well, it's going to be the same thing. Only there's no Chico's on. Um, but pretty much, I have to say, though, that, um, yeah, I love this game. But it's just like any other game. I can't enjoy it if I'm too tired. I am kind of too tired. I might try to play something anyway. I don't know. 
I better take a nap. But uh, anyway, see, I had I was gonna um not even bother with the with coming up here to the office today. I did it anyway, and then I thought about it, and I was even gonna think about watching TV. No, no, I just went home because it was late as it was. And just like with online gaming, because I'm going to create this whole brand new thing. It's going to be for everyone. All languages will be uh, accepted, but, but however, you have to be someone who can understand English. Preferably someone who does speak English, because they have more of a better chance of understanding. The reason why I say chance, because a lot of people who speak just only well, no, I'm sorry, not, not a good chance, I'm, I'm, I'm tired, but, um, you, know, you gotta give me a signal, at least to understand what to do, because it depends on, like, the game itself, like, because you'll find games that absolutely require you have to have a guild, and you have to be able to do certain things, and in order to get things done, Guild, clan, group, whatever. Um, my deal is going to be no one gets booted. There's gonna, not going to be no policy about, oh, okay, well, you got a day, a week, whatever. You might be booted if we reach um, uh, max for um, other people that are going to be more active. But there are going to be more active play players, essentially, in essence, to be keeping it going. They're not going to be active to the point that they are uh, having to drop everything to be there. And, uh, yeah, pretty much I have final say over the design and whatnot and the uh, rules. But um, any suggestions are welcome. But, um, again, you know... Um, and if we do have games like that, I'm going to try and see if I can't build another guild, clan, whatever. Um, I may have to create another character, but you'll be reinvited. I don't know about names. I'm going to try to keep it same name, but it won't be me. I'm going to, I want to guarantee you this. It won't be the same name without a number. And if I can't do it even in that way, then I'll just come up with a whole brand new one. That way you're not having to be, you can't be in it. I'm just going to leave it to people who, if they want to do parties, I will follow them, but uh, don't expect me to be there all the time because I can't promise to always be there. I can only be there at a lot of time that, I, in other words, you know, it's possible, much as possible for a lot of time that I'm given to be there. And even then, I still have to be prepared just in case something comes up because I do have other responsibilities, you know. And I do have a little bit more speaking time on my day off. But while I'm going out, I'm not going to do any of that. So, but if you I want, if I'm up, it's just like with something else that I got want I want to do. I'm up early enough before I leave, like, or if I have time, then maybe. But it also depends on what's going on um, and whatnot. But if it's going to take quite a bit, you're going to have to wait till I get back and after I put my groceries away. Because i got to get them sorted. When I bring home groceries that need to be put away uh, quite a bit. And uh, other things I, I didn't mention in this video. I don't remember half of what I said, but I will say this. That, yeah, what you want to do is that, and yeah. I will be doing that in another episode, but right now, I'm pretty tired, and I want to say that ultimately, uh, yeah. You know. I want to say that ultimately, that if you're interested, you know, keep a lookout. Because I will let you all know more about it at another time. Um, the rules are pretty firm. I don't have very many rules. There are requirement rules, but not very many. Uh, 
So, you know, safe, safe, have fun, and uh, respect each other, respect me, don't be calling each other F-A-G-E-E-T or whatever, you know, because it's the same thing under the word of like that, like, oh my God, there's faggots here, and I just don't want to play. Don't say that. And don't say the N-word. You can say anything you want to. Uh, there are some things I would prefer that you didn't say while I'm there. I don't care if you say them. But just don't say it while I'm there. Okay. I don't care. Cuss words are acceptable. I don't mind. After all, I'm not inviting children. I mean, if they have to join, they will have to be, uh, well, they, they can come along, I suppose, but um, I just don't want it to be where we're talking about adult material and all of a sudden, um, even if it's not me talking about it, but then all of a sudden some kid comes in and, uh, oh, God, that's going to be so awkward. And, you know, just don't want the kind of stuff. I may not personally care about what others think, but still, I mean, if it was my own kid, I wouldn't want them around nasty stuff, you know. It doesn't bother me or offend me if people cuss, whatever. It doesn't even offend me if you talk about boobs and whatnot. I don't care, but when you're talking about actually doing it between you and a and an individual, I don't want to hear that. Well, I don't even want to see it. I, I, in the dialogue, I don't care. It's none of my business, but it's going to be my business, and you don't want my, it to be my business. Because if it has to be my business while I'm there, then you're going to be gone. And... Um, Basically, you know, I'm just saying it because it's true. You know, you, you can't really, you know, do that and not expect me to absolutely say anything because this is crazy. I mean, I don't care what they're not, when they're not there or whatever. That's fine. But... You know, when you start saying, hey, that woman's hot, but don't keep saying it either, okay? Alright? I don't want to talk about how a woman's beautiful when she ain't got no boobs or when she does. I don't care about that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff don't interest me. But you can say it. I won't be offended by it. But when you start talking to, like, a woman and start doing that kind of stuff in front of me, you're going to be gone. You'll find the door. You know, I, I mean, I don't care if I'm actually online or not. It's whether or not I'm participating in the conversation or the chat window in there. And it makes a huge difference to me. It bugs me to see people talk about it when I'm there or actually they're participating. And I don't want to participate in it. I don't care what you do. That's between you and the person you're with. Okay. But ultimately, I just want this to be fun. I want to be able to people to be, actually truly enjoy it without having to worry about, oh, I gotta be booted because I wasn't active because you know I didn't sign in every day or or every two days or something like that. No, it has nothing to do with it. You know, and believe me, you won't be booted out again if you have to be booted. You know, it's like people who get invited to that new clan, yo, group, whatever. They will not be in the other one already. They'll already, if they get booted, it'll, and it's only going to be limited to one person per deal. For um, whatever. If I can get someone else to help me out with that, it'd be great. As long as I have still have say, if I don't say over at all, because it's my project, and that's I'm trying to con create something here, you know, because it has to be enough um, activity 
you know, you know, active enough that basically to where others can come in and enjoy the benefits or fruits of labor that we have accomplished to uh, do that with. Otherwise, uh, you know, we could basically have fun and not have to worry about somebody booting you and something like that. Um, you will be booted, however, if you start talking and stuff like, you know, or be racist, uh, harassing people, that's not tolerated in my group, my clan group, you know, whatever. Um, if not me, I hope I can get someone who is trustworthy that I can let them take over that when I'm not around because I need somebody, I need somebody to watch out for that. Um, because there'll be probably a lot of times I'm not able to get on. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm just going to be there as much as I can be there. If I can't be there at a lot of travels, because a lot of times I'm busy. It's not just playing video games, not just recording. This is what I do. But, um, yeah, I have other things in life that, uh, I don't like really doing, but it is to help out. And uh, it does help with other things. You know, I agreed to it, but I really didn't want to. But it is what it is, you know. So, Bill Day is just a day that I want to try not to record if I can. But, I mean, you know, because of, you know, having to go out. And besides that, I mean, I don't mind certain individuals, you know, providing voices if they want to come in and whatnot. Which means you'll have to send me a voice clip and I can use it for, uh, and then I can send you back some dialogue lines and you can read them and come up with your best uh, voice that you want to use if you think it's perfect for that. You know? But again, as far as the guild thing goes, um, for leading a party, against, like, raids and stuff. I would love to get into one of those, but as long as I've got time and I'm able to be more around, you know, while I'm on. Uh, but if it's too late at night, like, say, around 10 o'clock my time or whatever, yeah, no. Because I do like to watch TV, too. And, uh, I don't even want to record by then. So. But I just want to say that Ultimately, if you absolutely care, please do what you can to help out. Um, you know, and if you you know need some real help, to me that's more of a legit person. You know, people that actually help out with soloists who actually want to play the game solo. You know, not someone who will kick you out within a couple of days or a week or a month or whatever. I don't kick out for no other reasons but the ones I've already explained, explained to you. And it's only going to be one specific person. And it also depends as well on how long you've been gone. Like if you've been gone like long enough, six months to a year, Basically, the one who's been the longest, you'll have to be booted. But don't worry, um, you can you can come back into it. You mainly maybe have to go into it still in the same field, but it'll be under another, another number or name. But it's the same kind of deal, clan thing. Um, I'll still be running it ultimately. Um, you know, but as far as you not being in the other one, don't worry. I mean, you know, like, you know, if you believe perfectly, you know, hopefully you'll do it when you've done everything you can, but you have to come back eventually. At least, I, I, I might just, I may wind up ultimately leaving up a couple, a couple slots, and hopefully people will help me out with getting another one going, and, uh, let me absolutely be the owner of it because it's my project. I want to be the owner. I'm not asking to be 
the ultimate leader and lead you into like a, lead an army to fight a bunch of uh, raids and stuff like that. I'm not asking for that. I'm asking for final say on that, including the rules. Um, you know, if you want to help out with especially keeping people in line, that's fine too. You know, especially as well that like. Uh, if you're not online and I need to boot people out because they ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing or because they're harassing other people, what I don't like about it is like if I do this though, uh, where I have you one of y'all do that, it might wind up being that <laughs> I won't even have permission to boot them out. And I don't like that. You know, I don't need anything special, but I would like to have final say ever since it's my project. I mean, um, I don't have to be, like, promoted to owner or anything, but um, have final say ever because it's my project and I want to be the owner in, in general, but for the other ones that you create, to help benefit towards that. Because it's more fun and simpler than that way. But if you want to do that for me, that would be great. Because um, I don't like guilds that are like that. And plus, I want real legit laid back clients back. But more to the point that they never kick you out no matter what. So that, well, I've had people do that anyway. When I said, they never, they never kick me out. They did eventually though. So, in any case, um, I hope you have enjoyed this. But, uh, yeah, and um, look forward to more in Hander and maybe on and all that when they come out, because that's when they're going to come out. Uh, Recording schedule and posting schedule are not going to be permanent. They may change. They may not. And I still intend to play some Tales of Destiny. Um, I have another update video I want to promote, promote out separately. For right now, this is it. Until then, like the video. Even if you didn't like it, like it anyway. And still subscribe if you haven't already. And share it everywhere. Get everyone involved. You know, do it to death. Because I want to get some support from my channel. Um, I don't mind supporting other people. As long as your stuff's worthy of it. Um, like, I mean, not just to get subscribers. To eventually one day get videos. Just because you want to get up to a thousand K subscribers. I'm not even looking for that for myself. So why should I do that for you? You know. I, mean, I don't mind helping you out. Sharing your stuff. You know. And giving you some views here and there. Don't expect me to like really sit there and watch through it all. Um, I mean I might spoil myself on something that I know I probably won't be playing myself personally or anything. Um, or that I can't actually play anyway. But other than that, I mean, I try to skip out much as I can. I don't really want to, if I can, depending on what it is. Like, uh, you know. But in any case, I will see you all next time. Until then, share everywhere. Later.